So when you see these palm branches, they're not going back to the Feast of Tabernacles. They're going back to the Maccabean Revolt. This is not messianic. This is Maccabean. This is about a military movement. They're celebrating what they think is going to be a military maneuver that Jesus is going to come like Maccabee did and lead a revolt and capture and kill those stinking Romans. When in reality what Jesus is doing is he's coming to go to the global universal cross so that every Roman, every Greek, every Jew would be able to come to the one who will show us in a minute riding on a donkey that he is the humble king of grace who offers the world not the Maccabean victory of slaughter but the saving grace of one slaughtered himself on a cross. This jeering and cheering couldn't be any further from the reality of what is taking place. I ask you, friends, have you ever misinterpreted something good because you didn't at first see its connection to its source, which was really bad? Is it wrong to celebrate and lift up praises to Jesus? Of course not. But why and what's behind it matters. Right? Romans is a great place to go to get an understanding of God's perspective. Romans 1.1, 1, 1, I, I use this a lot. Take Paul's name out for a minute. Right? Put your own. I, Jeff, a slave of Christ Jesus. A apostle, a sent one, who has been set apart for the gospel of God. Are they cheering on the fact that he's coming to make them slaves who are going to be sent as set apart people? For him, that's not what they're cheering on. They're cheering on that they're going to get to be powerful, that they're going to get to rule over the Romans, or so they think. Romans 12, 1, that our lives are to be living sacrifices. Do you hear in this account they're being thrilled with the opportunity to be able to be living sacrifices, slaves of the Savior? No. No. And here's what I say to you, friends. That same problem plagues the church of our day. Large crowds, they're about large crowds. And those that build them have to sustain them. And so what they do is they make it about the crowd instead of about the Christ. Look at the large crowds that are gathered cheering and making superficial actions towards Christ, but don't really want to worship him. They want a warrior that's going to give them what they want, not one to worship. I ask you, what would this crowd do, and what would the crowd of our day, the large crowds, what do they tend to do with Luke 9.23? The essence of putting on the helmet of salvation, you want to know the peace and the power of being saved and walking in God's promise and power? He gave you three Steps to that peace and that power. Those that are saved by grace, he says, Luke 9, 23. He said, you will deny yourself. You will pick up your cross daily and you will follow me. Let me ask you, when the crowds are all about the crowds, how do they handle this call to deny self? What happens when you say, hey, good news, you get to pick up your cross unto death on behalf of following Jesus? And, by the way, you must follow. None of this follow with a wink. I mean, follow means follow. That's going to be rejected. That's not what I signed up for. I don't want any part of that. I want to be set free to where I can rule over the Romans. I want to be able to have the world, not be saved from it, says the superficial, that are willing to cheer him on to get what they want but are not going to walk and worship the king that is about to go and die on the cross for their sins.